Okay, I'm Jody and this is the second part of the module we are speaking about the RPM and YUM, how to manage packages and software on Red Hat based systems, also on SUS Linux. Uh, they both use RPM Package Manager, RPM Packages, which is Red Hat Package Manager. And they have a command, as you can guess, it is RPM. When you are using RPM Package, RPM command, you always use it like this. RPM, some action, unlike yum, which was higher level, and you had yum install English words. This is lower level, and you have switches, like dash i, dash e, dash u for install. So I always go with RPM, an action. It can be dash i for install. Then some options for example dash v as always for verbose not every single command uses dash v for verbose but in many cases this is like this so i v and an rpm file for example breezy blah 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 rpm let's try to use it once we downloaded this on the previous section using the uh, yum downloader breezy blah 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 i will copy this so I will say rpm-i install this. It says, oh, it is already installed. It checks the database and says, okay, this is already installed. We have installed it using yum. So I can say rpm-e breezy. See, here I give the short name because it checks into the data. It looks into the database and sees that, okay, Breezy is installed. I will, reinst I will remove it. See, it said nothing. Dash E was for erase. So, one more time. Yum, install. Yum, remove. But RPM dash I, RPM dash E. And in, as in many Linux commands, you have a short form and you have a long form. Short form goes with dash one letter. Long form goes with dash dash, a uh, normal English word. Although this is just a convention, this is not a rule. Some commands don't go like this. We will see them later in some other lessons. So now we can do an installation. I can do rpm dash i breezy. But this was this didn't told me anything, just went to the next line. I want it to be a little bit more verbose. It's very common to use V on most of the commands you use on RVM. Also, H is cool. H is for hash. So I say be verbose, talk a lot, and so show me some hashes when you are doing your tasks. I think 50 hashes for the percentage of the progress. So it says, okay, I'm verifying. Because I said V, talk a lot. It says I'm verifying the package. I'm preparing the package. I'm updating or installing the package. And it shows me some hashes on the progress. So whatever dash you say, VH is very common. And we are working with RPM files, as you saw. So normal actions are dash i for install, dash e for remove, dash capital letter U or dash dash upgrade for install or upgrade. In most cases, you won't see dash i. In normal life, we say rpm dash u v h package name rpm. So it says if this is install and if this is a newer version, upgrade it. Otherwise, install this it's more general than dash i so more used q is for query i will show you in detail later f is for freshen i will only install you will install or upgrade dash f only upgrade if it's already installed if it's not don't install it dash u will install it you can say and dash verify and dash k for checksync I will check these later. I will show you in more detail these ones. Let's see. Install, we just did. One note which is important is RPM does not have a database of automatic packages installation. If you are installing something 
and something else is installed because of the dependency, RPM won't know about this. So if you remove this, this will remain in the database of the install packages. Uh, also, sometimes you have different RPMs which should be installed alongside each other. Especially if you are installing Tmux, Tmux needs this package, this package, and this package needs this package and this package. So if you give it a command that RPM-I this Tmux, it will fail with no dependencies provided. You have to go manually install this first, then this first, then this, then this, and then Tmux. This is difficult. So you can copy all of these RPM in one place and issue RPM upgrade or install, speak a lot, show me some nice hashes, whatever RPM packages is here. It will find out about all of this, will resolve the dependencies and will install in the proper uh, order. Query is important, not sure why, but in questions you see lots of queries. RPM-Q something. So I can say RPM query this. It says, oh, this package is this. Who would guess? Hmm. Very useless. The good point is you can do RPM query Tmux. It says, okay, the Tmux is installed by this. A little bit more informative. But we can add switches and get nicer data. For example, dash C will give you the config files. I say RPM dash Q, this one, but show me what config files this program provides. It says no config files installed by this. I say, okay, RPM dash Q, give me the config files of the bash command, bash package. It says, oh, cool, bash package, when you installed it, looks into the database. I don't have bash RPM with me here, but since this is installed, this information uh, can be accessible for RPM. So when you installed bash, these configuration files were installed. Cool. These are not all the configuration bash uses. You can create new configurations, but these are the configurations inside the package, which is installed alongside bash. Nice. You can say, give me more information. So you will say RPM dash query. I need more information on bash says, oh, okay, bash name is this one, version is this one, release is this one, uh, this is the license, this is the size, this is the script description, whatever data it has. So we were doing, sorry, RPM query, dash C showed us the config files, dash I showed us the more information, you can say query all packages. And as you can see, you can use dash dash all. Also, please notice this one. You can say RPM dash query all files. It will give you all the installed packages on the system. You can say dash A. You can merge them or give them separately. This is a very common practice in Linux commands. So you can also use this. These are all the same. You can say I want the query with dash dash all or the short form or query with dash all so it give you all the install packages you also have what provides no short form so you can say rpm query uh, i want to see what provides bean bash it says okay if you want bean bash this is what provides bean bash interesting dash list query list of files a package installs if you say query list or query list bash you will say what bash installs when i install bash bash installs a lot of things let's try with tmux so okay when you install a, the tmux package it installs these files you can do in reverse and say what file is this user bin tmux it says okay this is comes from this see how strong back uh, rpm based systems are also you have dash r which says requires dependencies of a package so you can say what are the i want to query dependencies requires tmux 
says if you want to use tmux you also need these packages cool so these was queries dash c let's start from here dash l listed all the files in this package dash c listed only the config files subset of these dash i showed us more info dash a showed all the packages installed on the system what provides gives us what provides this specific file dash r or requires showed us the dependencies and dash f told us query packages owning this specific file on the system these were for querying data let's go for verify which is super cool we can verify if something is installed correctly first let, let me show you the dash k for signature check we had this package this package is signed so i can say rpm check the signature of this package it says okay its signature are all okay i can use dash v to make it more verbose it says okay inside this package this was my command it says this was inside this of this package there were some signatures i checked header version for rsa or sha 256 signature and it was okay it opened the uh, package will calculate the signature of different parts check them with the signed signature inside the package and say okay this complies with this one so package looks okay on this test on this test when i was just checking the headers it was okay when i was checking the payload with this signature it was okay so if someone gives you an rpm package and says ah please system admin i need breezy i'm using bzr can you please install this rpm the first thing you do is checking it if the signatures are okay so you make sure that this is the original package without any modifications this is very cool this was one part the second part is you have installed something on your system say tmux and you want to make sure that nobody manipulated that one it is still working as intended the files are all correct so you do it tmux sorry rpm verify tmux it don't says anything so this should be okay if you want to double check you can do with another v for verbos it says okay tmux has installed these files as much as i can say this file is okay no issues this file is okay no issues this file is okay no issues and all the other stories every file is okay what happens in if, if a file is not okay let's try it i will do an echo echo write something echo hello will write hello here if i do an echo hacker was here it will write hacker was here but i can echo redirect it you will see this later on the uh other lessons i will echo this into user bin tmux since i'm the root users i can do whatever i want so i will write this into the tmux exec executable now i broke tmux tmux won't work because it's not executable anymore if you look into the tmux it says hacker was here but a good system admin will run rpm verify tmux it says wow this line has lots of issues if i would do with dash vv it would show me all lights see all other files don't have any issues but tmux has some issues which is s5 and t what are these i have provided them here i have provided them from checking the manual of rpm on dash v section and i have forgotten about providing the s s means size is modified so it is telling me this tmux its size is modified from what i've installed it says five which means digest md5 differs the content of the files is different maybe the size is the same but the content is different in my case both size and contents 
are different. Also, I have the T. T is modification time differs. When it was installed, it has some specific modification time on the file, but the that time is changed. So this way, you can check the integrity of your installation. How can I solve this? I cannot, because I have written something new in the old file. The correct thing is, first checking why this had happened. I did it. Second is reinstalling it. Yum, reinstall Tmax. If I say run, yum install tmax it won't work because it will tell that okay based on my databases tmax is installed but when i'm checking it's broken because of this so i can do yum reinstall tmax okay i know that this is installed but please reinstall it i will say yes it will reinstall the tmax preparing tmax verifying tmax you can see it re verifies itself now if i do a verify it is fixed cool so this was it also rpm-e will remove a package okay here i was not able to remove it because it was needed by another package the last thing in this section and in this module is RPM. Uh, RPM files are a kind of archive. Nah, no, not this was not good. CPIO is kind of an archive, just like zip, tar, whatever you use. RAR. There is a program which says which is RPM to CPIO. This will convert your RPM files to CPIO files. And later you can extract this archive and see what is inside your RPM. If you want to check an RPM file, this is the command. So what you can do is use the RPM to CPIO, give it your RPM, but this will write the contents into the uh, console, which is not what we want. So we redirect it. We will see this redirection command later into this file. So when I had that breezy, I can say RPM to CPIO this file into, for example, breezy CPIO. Now I have a file, a CPIO file of this package. I can check this with file, file breezy CPIO. It will tell me this is the ASCII CPIO archive. So I can open it. To extract it, you have to do cpio-idv and redirect the file into it. So, cpio, this is my command, dash idv, open it. What? Breezy cpio. This will redirect the content of this into this. So practically, I'm saying to telling CPI, oh, you are getting some data, please extract them. It will extract them in all these files. Now, if I check my directories, you will see that, for example, I have one user directory. If you go into the user, it says, okay, there are different files here. If I do go to the bin, it says, okay, BZR, BZR directory, and everything is here. So practically, sorry, BRZ and BZR are here i was wondering you cannot have a file with the same name with another directory in linux so and in windows and in mac and in mac so this was the method to extract contents of the rpm file this was all you needed to know even this was more than what you needed to know but you need to know as much as possible to be the best system admin. Hope you enjoyed. This was the... No, 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 this was not the last part. We also have to speak about the virtualization to close the 102 part of the LPIC. Be with me and enjoy Linuxing.